Hey, we're today we're working in the garage on the uh, Ninja 250 race bike. We're going to start trying to put some of these fairings on. We're going to do the front fender. Uh, I got to try to figure out how to take it off and uh, get these little brackets for the brake lines and the speedo cable off. Fender off. I have to drill the holes for the bolts. So what I did is I drew lines in there trying to find the center of the circle all the way around. And I'm just going to pop it with a eighth inch and then a step drill. top of me.
go. That's the front fender. I can't use these because they don't let the fender sit in enough. You know, the only thing I could think of doing would be to grind that down. Then you'd be able to you know, have it sit in more just like a washer or you could just put a washer in there. I think just putting a washer in there might be better. That's on. Maybe we can go get a thick washer. Okay, we're working on the uh, side fairings now. Uh, got it mounted on the bike just to, not mounted, just sitting on the bike and trying to figure out where the mounting holes are and how decent they are. Um, they only give you a little step in. Now it's a race bike. Does it have to be perfect? No, but I would like it as close to pot perfect as I can get it. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, we've got a couple of the bolts in now. Got the ones on the upper tank done. Got one on this side done. It's really kind of hard to twist and pull this. But they're race body panels. I mean, how perfect they could fit is beyond me. But, uh, that's where we are so far. I, mean, I, I couldn't go any lower with this bolt, so that's where it had to be. It's like right smack where it's hitting the bottom. Can't really go any different, you know, giving us light stress cracks. But we'll figure it out. We got the side panel on, screwed into where it needs to be. Side body panel on. Uh, I'm gonna go do the other side now, but I mean, it looks like it fits fairly nice. I mean, we'll go back and we can open holes and later on, whatever, once everything's kinda just fitted. But, I mean, they look like they keep a pretty nice line to where the bike should have been, if you look at all the lines. So, looks pretty good. And we just gotta put this on. As you can see, we got the side cover on now, and now all the panels that you can see are pretty much flush now. All right, now we just have the old window sitting here just to see how it would go. Kind of like that. And then we're going to go check the new window, see how that fits before we drill the holes. And uh, this was a Poogie that we got for it. I think that's how you say it, Poogie. Double bubble. So let's see how that fits. So we got the front windshield on, got the side uh, plastics on, we got the side fairing on. We're going to do the underbelly another day, so, you know, I'm not in the mood to try to finagle little holes and uh, maybe screw up. So we're on double bubble window, blue front fenders on, front bodies on, rear tails on. So she's one step closer to being a race bike. So as usual, I thank you for watching. And I'm going to turn it around and let Greg be all proud of his bike for a minute. Go follow us on Instagram at Greg underscore Dibsy. We'll have some pictures popped up tonight. As always, YouTube, thanks for watching. Give us a big thumbs up. Now that I am closer to actually get my ninja on the track, thanks for watching.